Hey there, it's Michael Marinelli from American Caribbean Real Estate. You know what, today I'm in for a special treat that I wanted to share with you as well. My colleague, Rhonda Brewer from American Caribbean Real Estate and her husband, Craig, just caught some great fish and they're gonna share with us a recipe that they put together here at her Isla Mirada home. So come on along and let's see what they've got going. Hey Michael, welcome to my humble Keys Conk Cottage. Uh, for those who don't know who I am, I'm Rhonda Brewer. I'm a broker associate with American Caribbean Real Estate. And I've invited Michael, my colleague, over today to um, do a little tutorial, if you will, about cooking snook. So come on in. And this is a, a Keys Conk cottage. So this part of the house, from kind of where I'm standing and towards that way, was built in 1938 by the Russell family. They are one of the founding Isla Mirada uh, families. And it was originally over on the ocean. So I once had ocean front property. Wow, so how, 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 okay, wait a minute. It was over on the ocean and now you're here on the bay side. How did it get over here? Well, Hurricane Donna assisted, gave it a big assist. The house was built uh, about two feet up off of the ground. And so with the water, it floated off its foundation and moved out into US Warren. And at that time, the Russells owned considerable property here in the hammock. And so they picked the house up and moved it over to the property where it sits today. So over the years, over the 30 plus years that we've lived here, we've made several additions. We've updated somewhat. Hey, tell us what we're here to do today and uh, about what you, what you caught and where. Well, uh, my, I'll bring my husband in and he'll, he'll explain where, or maybe he won't tell you where. No, I doubt that. Uh, that's trade secret. <laughs> but he caught snook, fresh Ooh. snook, which is one of my favorite fishes to eat. And it holds very fond memories for me because I grew up um, fishing with my father and my grandfather. We, as a family, spent summers on Captiva Island. And I would get up at about five in the morning with my dad and my grandfather and get in our little Boston whaler and we'd cruise across Blind Pass. Then we'd go back to the cabins and we would have fresh caught snook for breakfast, snook and grits, which is what I'm <laughs> going to do today. Oh. And wow. then we'd have cold leftover snook at lunch and then we'd have more fresh snook for dinner. Like my grandmother was a, a remarkable Cook. And she learned to make snook many different ways, poached, baked, you name it. And you can do that with this snook. Um, I just decided today to go for simple supper, as we called it when I was growing yeah, up, which was absolutely. snook and grits. I love the combination of fish and grits. It's absolutely. just awesome. So let's see what you do here, and maybe we can bring your husband in on as well. So this is where the magic happens. Uh, I don't have a fancy kitchen. This is very uh, 1980s vintage. I have cooked meals and fed a family of four for over 30 years out of this kitchen. So it gets the job it done works and for well. Me. Craig, come on in. Hey. This is my husband. Hey, Craig, how you doing? Very good to good, see you. How you doing? Captain Craig Brewer, and he is the one who went out and caught this snook that I'm going to cook for you guys today. I'll let him tell you a little bit about himself while I start to get this going here. Absolutely. Yeah. I don't get to spend a lot of time in the kitchen. Uh, Rhonda calls this a one butt kitchen. So <laughs> I don't get to get in here very much, but. Uh, Anyway, I do the fishing. Uh, I do it professionally. Been doing it for like 32 years. I was born and raised in the Keys. My dad was a fishing guide before me. Uh, wow. So I was a Commodore Guide Association uh, for a few years, 20 years ago, and uh, now I stay active uh, as president of the Red Bone. Uh, okay. Which is a tournament series sure. uh, to generate uh, revenues for cystic fibrosis. Um, the cool thing about a snook is uh, they are very delicious fish. You can catch them in multiple, multiple different ways to catch them. Uh, this one actually I caught in the sight casting up on the flats out around Flamingo. Uh, throwing a plug rod with a little uh, Z-Man plastic white bait on there. Okay. He ate it, caught him nice. Uh, he fit in the slot, which I have to tell you about. Um, snook, one thing about them, they're very highly sought after as a food fish. So uh, because of that, uh, people were killing them by huge numbers. Mm -hmm. So there's been restrictions uh, implemented on snook. I think there's actually uh, six months out of the year where you cannot harvest a snook at all. So what depth are you uh, kind of catching these guys at? Well, that's an interesting thing. You can catch them on the reef, actually. You can catch them under the bridges doing different things. You can catch them in the bottom of a channel that's 20 feet deep, or you can catch them up on the flats in uh, six or eight inches of water. Wow. Where they can barely fit their whole body in the water. They're great sport fish and very good on the table. So, 
Well, let me just tell you, the, I, I'm trying hard to concentrate on what you're saying, but part of it is really difficult because that smells absolutely amazing. Why tell me what you got going well, on there. Actually, garlic always smells good. Oh yeah, I'm so, Italian, so that's in my DNA. Greg is also yeah. okay. Italian, so for me, I can't scramble an egg without at least one clove of garlic. <laughs> yeah. I, Moisten mine, if you will, with a little bit of half and half. Okay. I don't know why, except for that's what my grandmother always did. Um, and, and grandmother the cooking, man, they know what they're talking about. Exactly, so you don't argue with them. So I moistened it with that, let it sit in it for a while, then I drained off the excess, and then I have just coated it in progressive Italian style breadcrumbs. No salt, no pepper. You should never salt a fish before you cook it because it dries it out. In the meantime, I've brought a good amount of olive oil um, up to medium high heat mm -hmm. and I've sauteed probably eight cloves of garlic and some shallots. I don't mince my garlic, I smash my garlic. I yep. use uh, a more Oh wow, you use the old uh, pilon. Yeah, the, this one's about 30 years old. But you got a whole um, collection of them, awesome. I, I can't get enough of them. In the meantime, I started my grits. Now, I don't use grits from the grocery store. I buy mine from oh. North Carolina. Oh, you're hardcore I, I want here. I the real deal. You got the real deal uh, going on. Grits from the grocery store are, are soupy. And there are so many people who say they don't eat grits. I say to them, you've not had mine. And now my oil is probably hot enough. Now, you know, oh you talk about the 30 years old that your belongs. Well, tell me a little bit about this cast iron uh, pan you got going here. That well, looks like it's a... Uh, it's a professional. It's uh, <laughs> it's a family heirloom, if you will. I, I it became it came was handed down to me from my grandmother, um, and so I use it for frying fish and doing other real kind of southern dishes like southern fried corn and stuff like that. When I want to fry fish, uh, I tend to use the cast iron. Okay, it looks like you're getting ready to put it on the plate. You know, this is one of the cool things, and, and I know you mentioned this to your clients as well as do I. Is this is the lifestyle that we're able to enjoy as well as our clientele who enjoy here in the Florida Keys. I mean, look at this. You guys went out fishing, you caught the fish, you you know, you know cooked it expertly, you put it on a plate, and, and there you go. I mean, yeah. how many places are you able to do that in this tropical climate? And as far as the Keys, real estate-wise, you and I know, it's one of the best values, I think, for waterfront property there is. Absolutely. Um, we have fresh fish uh, to feed ourselves with. I can't think of a better place to quarantine or to be so-called isolated right now than in the Florida Keys. Um, and here's proof of it. While our restaurants establishes may be closed down, only open for takeout and delivery, right. you can, you know, cook at home, delicious seafood, nice salad, and then we can eat it out here with a beautiful view. Boy, you've got it fantastic here. Look at, you did a great job with that pool. Well, I will tell you that's one of the things, you know, um, I believe it is our broker who told us that luxury is not a price tag, but it's more of a state of mind and feeling. But this is where we sit and enjoy life here in the fabulous Florida Keys. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you having us here in your home and Greg, what a great job catching the fish. I can't wait to taste this. I will tell you that what would have made it better would be fresh wow. key lime juice, but our key limes are not ripe yet. So we're going with lemon wow. juice. Wow, that is delicious. I think what I did, you didn't hear, but I told Rhonda, it's funny, as long as I've been here most of my life, I've never caught a snook, nor have I actually eaten snook. It's probably the only Florida Keys fish I haven't had. Now I see what I'm missing. Wow, absolutely phenomenal. Well, unless you catch it yourself, you gotta have a friend give you a feed because that's the only way you can get it. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, thanks for stopping by and enjoying a nice lunch of fresh fried snook. And if I can help you with any real estate needs, please give me a call. Rhonda Brewer at American Caribbean Real Estate, 305-393-0513. And if you'd like to come back down sometime and get a closer look at uh, where the snook live and how they're caught and whatever, uh, feel free to give me a call. Craig Brewer, Captain Craig Brewer, uh, fish out of Lorelei, 305-393-0271. Uh, look me up, take your fly fishing, uh, do whatever you want to do. So come on down to Isle Marotta and uh, see what's going on here. 
You know, the Florida Keys are a really, really special place. And I mean, when you can enjoy this type of lifestyle or you can catch fish on the boat, bring it home, have a great lunch, uh, live in this type of surroundings, it really is something special. If I can uh, turn you onto this and help you make your island dreams and turn them into your new tropical reality, give me a call, 305-439-7730. And again, I'd like to thank my colleague uh, Rhonda and her husband, Craig, they were such incredible hosts, and uh, I look forward to you getting to know them as well, too. Michael Marinelli, American Caribbean Real Estate. I look forward to working with you soon.